What's up everybody? This is Danny from My Flying Eyes and we're here in Anza Borrego, Borrego Springs and we're going to make a guide to the Galleta Meadows Sculpture Park which is ideal for night photography. A lot of people come here to take pictures of the sculptures with the background of the Milky Way. So we're going to make a guide to every sculpture in the park. We're going to show exactly the location for you guys to use at the GPS. And we also are making a project and to Google Maps showing the exact position of every sculpture. Because I showed that some of them, they are marked at the Google Maps, but some of them are not that accurate the location so follow us uh, first we're going to talk about a little bit about the Galleta Meadows Park uh, all the sculptures are made by metal artist Ricardo Breseda this guy he's amazing I really like his art and please follow the guidelines um, for respecting the property the park don't climb into the sculptures these guys have to deal with the elements with the winds so please be respectful and do your part into the conservation of this amazing park follow us Look at this guy. This is a camel. How are you, man? I'm not passing on you today. I just check out with the Stellarium app, which is an app that I use to check out the position of the Milky Way. And I highly recommend uh, because it is a very good app. You don't need to be online. It just works with the GPS, so you don't need signal. And it shows exactly the position of the Milky Way and also where it's going to be uh, at every hour of the night. So, apparently tonight the Milky Way is going to be around this position. So I might, I might photograph this guy for the first time. We have this interesting camel with the camel baby here and I already checked out the Milky Way the Solarium you can you're not um, probably not able to see with the sunlight but this this could be a good shot and also those mammoths we're going to see the mammoths And given that the Milky Way probably is going to be like on this direction, probably that one is, is going to be the best one. Mammoth here, baby, baby mammoth. And this one, I probably going to shoot this one. Hey buddy, how are you? You're going to be in my flying eyes, my photography collection pretty soon. Are you happy? Hey! Okay, don't get jealous. Probably the Mickey Way is not going to favor you tonight. So, be kind, big guy. And I see all kinds of footsteps here and I just noticed some fresh ones that look at this are there mountain lions around here hopefully not so tonight what is this is this a dog but like a big big fucking dog hopefully i i don't have to run with my tripod with my camera tonight okay Me 
me, look at me. Okay, these are the scorpion and the grass over. Um, the Milky Way is gonna, it's gonna be right in the middle, but I think I'm not going to, to, to come and shoot this one again because I have, I already have a, a nice pictures with light painting and and everything. And so this one, I think that uh, it's not going to be on the list tonight. So these are the vineyard farmers. These guys are collecting grapes and growing and collecting grapes. So again, these are kind of like little sculptures. So I don't know about this one, the Mickey Way. The Mickey Way would be like right there. Pretty vertical, so I don't know, probably from this side. I am not totally passing on this one, but mm, I don't know. I don't want to be bad with these guys. And over there, there's some other guys. They're installing the vineyards with the wire and the structure. Look at this guy. He's the one cutting the wires. Okay, the vineyard workers. I'm going to show them on the map. Look at this guy. It's pretty interesting. Two dinosaurs. One uh, above the other one. One is like the baby dinosaur above the other one. So let's see. I'm going to check out where the Milky Way is going to be. I don't know if you can see, but the Milky Way, apparently it will be like over there, right there. So, but the bushes make it almost impossible. So I think, I think I'm think i going to pass on this one, even even though it's it's pretty cute, but I don't think this this one is going to be at the collection. Over there there's another dinosaur that looks pretty tempting. So let's see. There's a fallen uh, kind of like a dinosaur but this one looks good actually the Mickey Way. Uh, apparently it's going to be like that way so yeah this, this, is, this, this is probably definitely this could be on my collection there are some clouds hopefully they're gonna be gone at night hey buddy how are you how is life here huh not many people giving you compensation right so look at this guy <laughs> these are these sculptors are very very funny. I, I love them. They're metal metal sculptors, rusty, and it's a good chance to do my color light painting. See you later, buddy. Bye bye. to meet the start of the night the dragon look at this guy this is the tail and that's our friend on the other side of the road so let's take a look look at this look at this hey buddy how are you wow he's big So this is pretty big. 
weeks and probably this is going to be So these are the llamas. This is the first time I see these guys. They were kind of hidden for me. Uh, they are passing the dragon. Um, so further into the park, you can see there's three llamas and two little camels. Well, actually one is not that little. This might be a good shot. I don't know. How are you guy? Are you gonna spit on me? <laughs> So apparently the Milky Way is going to be like this, three verticals. I'm not crazy about the sculpture, how it might look. Let's check out this one. Hey buddy, so let's see. This one I would have to take it from exactly the front of it. So I think I'm passing on the llamas. Sorry guys, don't spit on me again. So we're gonna, we're gonna check out those camels. at this guy he's looking with the back of his eye and I don't know if you can see guys but the Milky Way is going to be right there so uh, this one the little one would be ideal actually the Milky Way let's see yeah this one would be ideal but I don't know again you know the same problem with the little sculpture that I might have to retouch the focus and I hate to touch the focus once I get the infinite focus so I would have to retouch the focus after taking the, the Milky Way shots to get in the light painting foreground shot so if I have better options I, I would pass on this one uh, but let's see so I'm gonna mark those on the GPS for adding them to the to the guide and also always take into account that the Milky Way change position depends on the time of the year so uh, right now is September the 4th so on September the 4th this is the Milky Way position this little guy is going to be perfect but not this one you know if the Milky Way shows up like this it would be a good shot that's for sure Here we are at the elephant. We have this nice Cayeta Meadows State, La Primera Ruta por Tierra, San Francisco. Actually, this is in Spanish. First in Spanish, then in English. Wow, very interesting. It was a Spanish colony. So, okay, so let's on the business. Let's go and explore the um, elephant. This little one is too little, so let's see the big one. Hey buddy. So it's not that big, actually I think I prefer the mammoths. Watching the Stellarium, apparently uh, Milky Way is going to be like that, probably later on like that, so I would have to shoot from here it's not going to be a good shot so I'm going to skip I'm going to skip this body sorry buddy probably on the next one to you These guys got uh, some sheep there. And look at this! This is amazing. So apparently, early 
uh, around 8 p.m. the Milky Way is going to be in the middle of these guys but from this kind of like three quarters view not from the front if we photograph from the front the Milky Way would be probably on the on the second ship like right there so I don't know I would have to come very early and check it out if this is going to be in my collection tonight it would have to be the first one so let's see I'm the boss no I'm the boss I am the boss I am the ship boss okay guys see you later alligator <laughs> this guy so this is the Indian head it's not as big as I thought it's probably with the penacho and everything like two meters tall so apparently at this time of the year the Milky Way is going to be pretty vertical uh, on the right side of the sculptor so I don't know probably this profile view is going to have to be from kind of close uh, I don't know and also I can see that we have some houses in the background so that can create some light pollution so mm, probably mm, I'm gonna look for better options at least for this trip but this guy looks amazing okay before we leave the Indian head let's mention that we have one two three four giant tortoises and they deserve they deserve to be mentioned even though that to me they're too small to to be on a Milky Way picture this is the, sh the sh Jeep not the sheep this is the Jeep and over there is the sheep sheep Jeep looks good but unfortunately again the Milky Way is going to be uh, right there so uh, I don't think it's going to be a good picture probably if I have a lot of time let's say I spend three days with the Milky Way here I would come and shoot this one but I don't think it's going to be worth it to you know to burn Milky Way time with these guys okay guys I hope you enjoy your ride. Let's go to the next one. Okay, so we keep, we are exploring and this is Padre. Padre means priest. Um, so he's carrying a cross and a dog is He's a dog and a, a, a father. And look at this, someone put a police car here. What, what does that mean? Police car with the father. If you don't behave like God's law, I'm gonna call the police. That's pretty weird. This looks very nice. So let's see, this, this could be a pretty interesting uh, uh, Milky Way shot, you know, especially for people religious you know um, I don't know if I'm a religious person I, I really like uh, Jesus Christ uh, teachings well that could be a very interesting shot at night because very very late at night probably my last shot could be this one because it apparently it's going to be like there over there so if I place my camera there and I put it like this let's see let's see I'm not totally um, putting this away I'm gonna have to pin this, this spot on my GPS and probably it's gonna be my last shot okay Padre see you later Okay, we can see Padre's sculptor on, on my back. 
and here we have the gold miner look at this guy pretty interesting and right now at this time of the year the Milky Way is going to be like pretty vertical in the middle of it too so this could be a good picture from this side we'll see later I mean it's not a big sculpture and we have those bushes probably I'm not totally passing on this one so we'll see later Okay, apparently there was a sculptor here. I have in the map uh, marked something as the a sheep or something like that. And apparently it's gone. It's marked with the number 46. So unfortunately, this one is gone. I thought I was, uh, okay, I, I couldn't be so blind because it's marked right by the gold miner and I'm not seeing anything. So I was like, okay, I couldn't be that fucking blind. I know that it's hard for me to find things so this one is gone so we're going to keep exploring Looks like an eagle, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it an eagle? This looks great. It would look great with the Milky Way behind, but unfortunately the Milky Way is going to show up on the other side, over there. So that would be impossible to me. At least at this time of the year. I don't know if uh, in certain other time of the year the Milky Way would show up that way. I don't think so. Apparently the Milky Way is going to be in this position. So it would have to be from the back of the eagle. So I don't know if that would be a good picture. Mm, probably. I don't know. Like this. I don't know. But then you would have to erase those two stands. Um, and this one would be impossible to erase so very cool sculptor hey buddy hey mom eagle uh, very cool sculptor but because of the position I don't think this is going to be a good Milky Way picture The selfie horse. <laughs> there is a crazy horse and the selfie horse. Okay, this is the wild horses section. There's horses everywhere. These are pretty cool. There are other pair of horses over there that I did photograph once. And these are the biggest ones. Look at this. This looks great. Unfortunately, I already checked out with the Stellarium app and apparently the Milky Way at this time of the year is going to show up like that pretty vertical so I don't know if this is gonna be a good picture at this time of the year and probably not but it's pretty cool So, probably this guy was, I don't know, it seems to be a little bit twist to this side from that day that I did photograph. I remember the Milky Way was, was a little bit like that. So, horses, <laughs> we came from, from that road towards this side and 
there was we found them and we said okay let's photograph this but we didn't see those guys the mammoths we didn't see that eagle over there we didn't see of course the dinosaur we didn't know where they were um, so we ended up photographing this guy <laughs> Oh, there is another set of elephants, mammoths. You have two big guys here and a little one there. Um, but probably this one is not a good option because the Milky Way normally is on that side. It's right there. So probably you want to photograph this other guy. Mm, you have houses over there, you might have light pollution you have the road cars coming I did photograph a couple of horses over there and you know cars don't come very often probably this one at some point of you know you might have the Milky Way over there so probably you can get away with this one okay guys thank you oh look at the eyes it seems to be a female one <laughs> a pretty female elephant mama she seems happy you see i can see that happy people are not like the dinosaur you know she's happy Look at this guy. This is kind of like a feline. Uh, apparently, it's a gracile saber tooth cat. The word cat makes me think it's a feline, maybe probably an ancient feline already extinct. I don't know if these guys are around here in the world still. And this is a set of these cats chasing horses and also says extinct horses i don't know what kind of horses probably zebras over there there's one chasing there's one hunting already catching so we're going to see uh this body is not going to be a good option probably because the milky way is going to be probably mm, the milky way is going to be right there so probably but it's not a big one so I think I pass on this one probably if I would pick one of these sculptors to do Milky Way picture it would be that one the one chasing the horse <laughs> okay so this is the Gracile saber tooth cat chasing this horse. It says extinct horse. So this probably would be a good picture because the Milky Way should be it should be uh, somewhere around in the middle. Uh, we're well in September, so it's pretty vertical. So this could be a good picture. I don't know if I'm going to try this one. And there are other cats chasing other horses, so we're going to take a look. There is a cat, I, I see a, a, one of those cats already catching a horse, so we'll see. guy this one is chasing that horse who's already aware of the presence 
And he's, he's not running away, so he's brave. Hey buddy, looking for something to eat? So this one, it's a small one, pretty short, and they're pretty cool. And over there we can see a uh, confrontation, saber to cut confrontation. And the Milky Way, it should be around here. So this could, could be a good one, but you have to put the, the camera practically on the floor. So probably not my choice. So these are uh, this pair of gracile, I want to say it the right way, gracile saber-toothed cats. They're pro probably arguing, confrontation also. They're about to fight. And this could be a good one, uh, not vertical, because the Milky Way, it would be right in the middle. So they're not big sculptures. They're not that small either, but this is definitely one of uh, possible choices. And again, the camera would have to be very, very low, probably from this position. But this one is definitely, it could be on my collection. This look pretty wild. It's a grass-eyed saber-toothed cat hunting a horse. I don't know what kind of horse this would be. Probably the metal horse. <laughs> um, this one could be a good picture with the Milky Way because it's going to show up. Let me see. Right there. Right there. So this could be a good one. Um, you will have to erase those stands if you wanted the picture to look pretty cool. But that is not a big deal for this day for Photoshop, content aware and other softwares. Uh, but you have to put some time on it. So it depends on how much time you have you want to invest. But this definitely could be uh, one of my choices. Uh, even though I think I, I prefer the confrontation because, you know, I am not that happy to portray this moment when a form of life is suffering that much. Um, any suffering, even though the other one is a fight, but, you know, an equal fight. this guy how cruel so this is another sculptor that you can see on a daylight you can see it from the road right before entering this park the second section you can see right right there you can see the dinosaurs from here but in the middle of the night it's impossible even this guy you can you could not see it from the road I don't know, probably 50 meters from the road. There is a dirt road. You can come here with your car. This could be another uh, good Milky Way photography, but then you have to erase all those cables, you know, all this uh, stand supporting the wings. So mm, I wouldn't do it. So right now I'm about to enter the dirt road, as you can see. In three quarters of a mile. The destination is on your right, Anzabarigo Desert State Park. I 
came here on daylight because I wanted to to see the place on daylight and, and film the sculptures uh, to show you guys. You can see them from the enter of the park, from the entrance of the park, but. On a, on a dark night it's it's absolutely impossible because you know you might say oh yeah I can I can see with the with the car lights but when you're driving in the middle of a desert you only see what's what's right in front of you it's 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 pretty at least for me it's pretty difficult to find things um, and then you know it was a little bit windy so there is a, a little bit of dust so, so it's, it's not, it's not a, don't take it for granted, it's not an easy thing. Okay, so this is not a fallen angel, this is a fallen dinosaur. So this guy, you know, it's, it felt, unfortunately, so I saw this guy on the, my way back. I didn't see him uh, when I was coming towards the sculptures. And right now I'm, I'm, I, I noticed that there are a lot of uh, little, little guys like this one or that one, you know. So there are a lot of little dinosaurs also. So we, we keep going towards our friends. I don't know if you can see them on the back. Weather is extremely hot, it's like 110 degrees, so bring a lot of water if you come here in the summer. You don't need a four-wheel drive if you're concerned of the terrain. It's, uh, it's totally fine. My, my Kia is doing great here, so you don't need that. Seem to be even the little the little ones. They seem to be in a very bad mood. So what's wrong with you guys? Why are you so angry? <laughs> Why you should people like this? Why is your people like this? What's wrong with you guys? Why is your people like this? Why is your people like this? And you too. Why is your people like this? <laughs> so last night the Milky Way was more vertical and it seems to be right in the middle of the two it was like hitting like boom like this like this so I kind of like put my composition like that and the Milky Way was boom there so it was pretty fun um, it's extremely hot it's at 110 degrees last night it was pretty hot too probably a hundred degrees or 90 something and um, but it was fun I did a lot of light painting and I'm pretty happy and Saborego one of my favorite places on earth This guy here, she's in a bad mood. The Milky Way was 
was like this way so I kind of make it look like the Mickey Way was coming it was like fire coming out of his mouth because you know one thing we can say about dinosaurs they all seem to be in a very bad mood Okay, I'm gonna shake his hands or his fangs. I'm gonna say bye to this guy. Thank you so much for posing for me. Mr. Time, give me a sign, don't pass me by, stay a little longer, hey Mr. Time, help me to find, only what's mine, stay a little longer, look to the sky, I'm dreaming high, I'm hoping So, this is what I just said. I hate to see this kind of thing. So, we're going to pick it up. This is not a good example. Don't leave stuff like this. <laughs> 